In Psalm 119, verse 65 through 72, King David shows us the beautiful odiote meaning of the Hebrew letter Tet, a letter that is a picture of a basket with an opening for potential blessings. The letter means good, surround, snake, which can also have the meaning of evil. It can mean contain, mud, and clay. Notice the picture of the letter and how it can represent both the snake or it can represent a humble servant bowed down to his king. Psalm 119 verse 65 You have done good to your servant, O Yahuwah, according to your word. You have done good shows the letter Tet, which has the meaning of good or goodness. In this passage, the word good is Hebrew Strong's 2896, Tob, which means pleasant, agreeable, and good and starts with the letter Tet. Psalm 119 verse 66 Teach me good sense and knowledge, for I have trusted in your commands. Teach me good sense shows the letter Tet, which has the meaning of good or goodness. Also, when you trust in his commands, you have a potential for blessing. Like a basket open at the top, waiting to be filled. Psalm 119 verse 67 before I was afflicted, I myself was going astray. But now I have guarded your word. This passage shows the duality of the letter Ted, showing how by repentance and turning to his word, you can make a great change in your life. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, that he forgives to us our sins and cleanse us from all wickedness. 1st Yochanan, 1st John 1 9. Psalm 119 verse 68. You are good and do good. Teach me your laws. You are good and do good and the Torah all show the letter Tet, which means good, for he is good. And Yahushua said, Why do you call me good? No one is good except one, Elohim. Psalm 119 verse 69 The proud have forged a lie against me. With all heart I observe your orders. The word forged in this passage is Hebrew Strong's 2950 to fall. It means to smear, plaster over, stick, glue, and forged. It begins with the letter Tet, and even though they have brought this evil against him, he did not turn from keeping his commands. Psalm 119 verse 70 Their heart has become fat without feeling. I have delighted in your Torah. In this passage the word delight is Hebrew Strong's 8173 Sha'ah which means to be smeared over, blinded. This word is very similar to the letter Tet because it can be used as a good word as in a good exception to look upon with complacency. In a bad way, it can mean to look about in dismay. Psalm 119 verse 71 It was good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your laws. It was good for me shows the letter Tet, which has the meaning of good or goodness, and in this passage the word good also is Hebrew Strong 2896 Tob, which means pleasant, agreeable, and good, and starts with the letter T. Psalm 119, verse 72, The Torah of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. In this passage, the Torah and is better shows the Hebrew letter T, and once again the word is better, is Hebrew Strong's 2896 Tob, which means pleasant, agreeable, and good, and starts with the letter Tet. The Torah is such a blessing to us from Yahuwah, and the Torah is good, like Paul said in Romans 7, 12, so that the Torah is Kodesh, and the command is Kodesh, and righteous, and good. I pray that this message was a blessing to you, and if Yah is willing, Join us again next time for the Hebrew letter Yod. May the hand of Elohim be upon you all, and may his Torah guide your path. 
Shalom.